Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another Uthar Macross update video. So today we're talking about the last page of the bingo missions, which is page 3. But before we begin with all that, let me just do a gentle reminder to you guys. The Kawawa challenge and the VOP challenge are almost coming to an end. So hopefully you guys have been busy doing this as well, alongside with the Yami Kure missions, because you technically can um, kill three birds with one stone. So I am just down left with uh, Reina and Makina as the center divas um, before finishing up the Kawawa challenge. And of course for the VOP challenge, um, if you guys remember I did the explanation of VOP challenge then I corrected myself. Um, so there's one thing about that. So apparently the first video that I did regarding the VOP challenge missions, I was actually correct. <laughs> <laughs> and then I corrected myself which ended up becoming wrong so here is the correct thing you need to do um, so yeah apparently I was sick during those videos and I'm not thinking straight so here it is the proper translations if you have not been doing them but you know you should be doing them because technically you can do this now alongside with Yamikure and of course with the Red Boss event um, so yeah, so basically you you just have to play the specific Macross CV songs, uh, difficulty hard and above. So if you've been doing the Yami Kure missions which requires you to full combo uh, extreme songs, especially with Glow in the Dark, that's for the Macross Delta series. As you can tell, Macross Delta um, missions under the VOP challenge is easily cleared because Right now, in the month of January, most of the event songs are all belonging to Delta. <laughs> and as you can tell, I'm struggling a bit with the uh, Super Dimension Fortress, Macross 7 and Frontier songs because they barely appear as event songs. So right now, because it is the Red Boss event, basically you can grind the rest of the Macross series songs to try and attain the radars to call out Red Bosses. Uh, especially if you're trying to grind the Red Boss event like a hardcore maniac, which I am not doing. I'm just casually playing <laughs> to try and clear these missions and challenges. So yeah, hopefully you guys are doing that. Uh, I'm just, like I said here, I'm left with the SDF Macross, Macross 7 and Frontier stuff. Um, then of course there's Makina and Reina left for the VOP, I mean the Kiawa challenge. And Yamikure missions, um, of course, hopefully you guys are doing this as well. Especially with the 9 million um, high score requirement. So, regarding to that, before we talk about the bingo missions, I am going to tell you guys, I've actually cleared the 9 million uh, high score requirement. Uh, I was quite surprised that I got it done so easily. <laughs> so, what I did, yes, basically I did it on a... Macross Frontier song because it is one of the easier songs to handle so I went with Ninjin Loves You Here and it's a short duration song so I don't have to spend too many tries or too much time retrying to gain a good um, high score so as you can tell I actually hit 10 million <laughs> high score <laughs> which really surprised me because I was expecting to hit maybe a 7 million, 8 million high score range. I didn't expect to go beyond the 9 million high score. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to show you guys my plate setup here, um, what I actually used. And of course, I actually used a friend with um, Macross Frontier 7 star episode plate. So like this fella here has a plus 14 ridiculous, ridiculous whaler. <laughs> <laughs> on a 7 star Cheryl episode plate. So let's use this friend's episode plate. Of course, why I went with a 7 star friend episode plate is because 7 star episode plates actually have the best total score. So if you're trying to squeeze out as much score as possible, 7 star episode plates from friends is the best way to go. Um, and you just have to rely on your own basic setup to try and uh, you know activate as much live skills as possible. But here is the funny thing. Thing. So my setup, of course, um, I went with a bit of a lazy man's way. I didn't specifically choose the divas that I have the best stats on. So if you recall, 
uh, every end of the month alternatively we will have the diva improvement events where you can basically improve your diva's base stats so ranka is definitely my waifu so her stats are maxed out um, if, the, if I recall the last month, basically um, Ranka stats are at like 80 for each of the stats. Um, Kaname sadly and Cheryl sadly, I have not really boosted anything much. My best two sub divas are actually Makina and Reina. So I could have gone with Makina and Reina as my side divas that are supporting Ranka. Uh, but I went with the lazy man way. I just basically chose this team because they were just there. And I just shifted Ranka to the center because I needed to clear her Kawawa challenge requirements to have her as a center diva. So I'm killing, you know, two birds with one stone technically. Alright, so basically how this setup works is basically having the best Frontier 7 star episode plate of the same series color if you do have it, if you don't have a 7 star episode plate of the same color but a Frontier series one, why not just use that because you'll get that Frontier Center skill boost anyway, um, even though if it's not the same color, color only matters if it's been Kira fight, but sadly to say, having a Kira fight 7 star episode plate is really rare to come by unless you will, like my good friend that I just borrowed the plus 14 Cheryl episode plate. That's just ridiculous. Anyways, um, so what I did here was I focused on this Min Mei episode plate that I have, which I recommended you guys um, the other time because she is a short, short score improvement life skill plus she comes with a special notes uh, attached to it and that's why I went ahead and Kira fight this episode plate um, so yeah so make sure you use the best episode plates that you have in your arsenal uh, I went with this setup so both all three divas actually have the same kind of setup they have two episode plates with the short score improvement ability um, and of course they will have a short score life skill with maybe a special note attached to it so yeah and yeah it goes the same for Ranka she has this episode plate which is the best total score free six star episode plate which is given to you with your Uta rate um, scoring so yeah so that's pretty important make sure you go ahead and grind all the regular live songs as well to get the best high score ability uh, uh, able for your own personal collection um, don't mind me guys it's past midnight while I'm recording this video so I'm a bit uh, not fully awake right now <laughs> anyways uh, even though this plate doesn't have a special note attached to it but it does come with an awesome life skill which boosts 150% only on these yellow series songs so yeah that's why I'm on this um, song itself and of course you know this series of Valkyrie episode plate sadly to say only Mikumo's version doesn't come with a special note attached to it the rest of them all come with the score note attached to it so yeah that's kind of a bummer for Kumo fans um, and yeah like I said the, the rest of the episode plates are just all short score improvement abilities so there's a total of six episode plates here that improve the short score um, abilities so that's quite a bit from the regular ones that I recommended in the um, other video in the tutorial section um, so normally I would have like three episode plays with a improvement skill ability but this time around I went a bit hardcore so there's six episode plates with <laughs> Core improvement uh, effects and I didn't expect this outcome I was kind of expecting maybe a 7 to 8 million high score achievement but I went way beyond my expectations I hit that 10 million high score with Ninjin Loves You yeah uh, it is one of the easier short duration songs out there um, so it's good to practice on such songs to get good Especially to try and get that Yamikure ability, um, mission cleared, the one where it requires you to um, full combo five times on an extreme difficulty song. So yeah, why not, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Alright, 
so hopefully you guys are able to do it um yeah so it if you want to duplicate this setup it is possible too if you have all these episode plates i mean this one is easily attained um the rest of them really depends on your gacha pool's luck especially the seven star episode plate like i said if you don't have a yellow series um seven star episode plate like i explained in my tutorial setup um for high score um these the color of the episode plate doesn't really matter until you've purified the episode plate um basically you're just using it for its basic stats and its skills if it's not purified so only when you purify the episode plate then the song series the color actually matters because you will gain extra boost in scores if it's used on the same series color you know that kind of thing anyway guys that's it for this um you know trying to attain the 9 million high score um i wish you guys all the best for all the you know the missions that's currently going on but we have to talk about the main thing about this video which is the bingo missions page 3 so let's dive into that into that all right so here we go page 3 of the bingo missions um, as you can tell I already have two of them that is auto cleared let's go through them and we'll understand why they have been auto cleared for my condition so first one here we have Uta rate 1500 so in page 2 there was another mission that was like this but it was a, a lower lower quantity so as you can tell the Uta rate is actually this number right here I have um, 30 352 so that's pretty a lot considering the 1500 is actually required so this one it should be easily cleared uh, especially for those of us who have been playing this game for four years for those who are new basically how you get your Uta rate is it is just accumulation of all the uh, high scores you have on the regular songs in the regular live page um, so do your best to gain the best high score you can, especially if you're trying to clear the Yummy Kure 9 million high score mission, which is quite difficult for the new players. But do your best to try and, you know, get as many free stuff as possible from all these missions and challenges uh, to well, make it easier for you to play in the, the years to come. That is, if you're gonna play for the years to come, who knows. Uh, each person's tolerance for a game is different <laughs> anyways uh, moving along all right we have this one which requires you to play a total of 10 event songs so this one should technically be very easy especially for those who are grinding the red boss event which you should be doing especially for the free to play players because you know every event matters moving along this one requires you to play uh, any song basically and gain five full combos so if you're clearing out the yummy kure missions this one shouldn't be too much of a hassle because the yummy kure one requires you to clear at least 30 extreme difficulty full combos so you know uh it's it's like i said killing multiple birds with one stone <laughs> all right moving along uh cho uta Hime mode activated and clearing the song five times so this one shouldn't be too difficult especially if you're doing the red boss event and yeah moving along attaining a high score of at least two million and or more this one shouldn't be too difficult especially if you're trying to attain that nine million high score challenge so yeah and of course the next one beside it just requires you to gain at least a million score so this one should auto clear with the two million one achieved so not too difficult seems like page three is very easy <laughs> all right moving along um getting at least 10 double s score rank so this one is pretty easy as well even with um episode plates um with plus 20 luck value basically is just a full set of um, uh, five star pieces of place you should technically get this cleared easily um, so yeah moving along the auto cleared um, mission basically any divas level at five so like in the last page page two I explained 
about divas proficiency um if you've gotten them to proficiency level three that was the, the previous pages requirement now you have to get them to level five so like i explained in the last video you need them to be level three at least minimum to go across the barrier of level four proficiency so if you have already done that and and for us old school players we've already got probably most of our divas some of them to maybe level six which is the current uh, highest proficiency level you can attain getting level five shouldn't be too difficult um, in fact most of the time nowadays the first event of the month, which is the ticketing event, I get all 10 divas to proficiency level 5 easily. Nowadays, uh, technically considering I'm a veteran player having so much energy on hand compared to new players, you know, I, it, it can get difficult for new players, but you know, over time it becomes an easy task. So level 5 shouldn't be that difficult, especially if you're grinding the game. So you just need to get any diva, just one diva to level 5 and you should be good to clear this. Alright, the last mission. Um, Alright, so this one is pretty simple, just have to play the event daily song. Um, basically it's the songs that give you the resources to improve your episode plates. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, let's dive into the live page and I'll just give you a reminder again where you can find this event song. So first of all, hit this button to go into the event page. And of course, all these songs you see here with the 99 play chance currently for January of 2022. Um, these are the songs I'm talking about. You just have to clear them five times, um, not each of them, any of them. Uh, play them five times and you're done with that bingo mission so anyway guys that's it for today i think why not let's just end this video with a quick gacha pool since there is technically a 10 free plate pool today so it's kind of a semi update video and yes a bonus gacha pool as well so here we go guys the daily free template pool um Hopefully today's luck is good. If not, you know, it'll be nice to reserve the luck for the upcoming last two gachas as well. The last video was pretty horrible. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Ooh, getting... Ooh! What's the max Valkyrie animation? Uh, we didn't get the golden orb, but still... What? All of them are silver boxes? What's the Valkyrie animation then? Is any of the silver boxes gonna be bad? Huh. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So far, nothing. What's with that false advertising then? <laughs> I feel cheated with the Valkyrie animation. Oh, oh, something's gonna happen. Oh! Oh, it went rainbow! Oh! Ranka's crossover life costume! Nice! So that's pretty cool. I, at least I got my waifu's episode plate. Alright, so it is technically an episode plate that I do use somewhat regularly. Um, it is not the best run car plate out there, you know. Um, yeah, and it has a life recovery uh, life skill, so that's pretty cool for maybe trying to practice extreme full combos, you know, hint hint. <laughs> uh, the active skill is pretty old school, so this episode play is just basically used for its life skill to heal, to survive very difficult songs. No special notes attached to it. Like, yeah, like I said, it's 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 a decent play. It's not something I'll use regularly, so this is one of those episode plays, sadly to say, will not be Kira fight um, in my sense of usage. So anyway guys, that's it for today i wish you guys all the best as always for your missions and your challenges hopefully you can gain that 9 million high score or more uh challenge clear um all the best to you guys as usual hopefully if all these videos are useful to you guys make sure you let me know in the comments down below or maybe by leaving a like on this video um, recently you guys have actually been paying attention to all the videos that I've been putting out uh, considering that most of them are all full time across recently um, 
thank you guys so much for the attention um, being given to these videos. The view counts have gone up. The like ratios have been more consistent lately. So I, I really appreciate you guys who are here for the content. Especially there's a few new members who have subscribed to the channel. And of course on Instagram as well. Um, yeah, it would be wonderful to let me know. Um, in the comments, where did you guys hear about my content from? Uh, <laughs> be it Macross fan groups or actually you just stumbled upon, upon my content from YouTube just because you're searching for help on Uta Macross, that kind of stuff. Or maybe on Instagram or even on Twitter. I don't know how my content gets on Twitter but uh, <laughs> my personal Twitter account is mostly all Japanese Macross content so uh, <laughs> it'll be it'll be interesting to see how you guys find out about my content uh yeah guys so really big loves big appreciations to all you guys who've been watching my video especially since the beginning of time i don't know uh i don't know when you guys have started watching i know some of you have probably just watched my content mainly for my cross but you know i i will be returning to gaming content soon so if you guys enjoy those content as well let me know in the comments of those videos in the future or maybe just leave a like like usual you know you know when you like certain things just leave a like <laughs> until then guys i will see you guys soon bye